Starting at number 5, CJ McCollum. He was picked in the 2013 drafts. He was picked with the number 10 pick. He is currently 24 years old. Some players picked before CJ McCollum were Trey Burke, Cody Zeller, Alex Len, and quite a lot more that are not having the success that CJ is currently having in the NBA. Now some stats and awards that CJ McCollum has accumulated over his career. To start off, his points per game. Everybody knows CJ McCollum is a shooter. He is a great facilitator. He can play the one. He can play the two at six. Four. I do not believe anybody expected him to average the points per game that he has been averaging in the league over the last season. He came into the league averaging only 5.3 points per game and last season he averaged 20.8 points per game as you can guess one of the awards the main award that he has gotten in the NBA has been the NBA most improved player in 2016 and very excited to see him play in this coming season I believe CJ McCollum deserves this spot at number five on my top five draft steals in the last five years there were a lot of teams that skipped on him and a lot of players that are not doing as well as CJ McCollum who was picked 10th overall in the 2013 NBA draft now on to number four of my list, Jimmy Butler from the Chicago Bulls. He was picked 30th, 30th in the draft in the 2011 NBA draft. Currently, he is 26. A lot of these players in this on this list are entering their primes or are still very, very young, including Jimmy Butler, only at 26. So Jimmy Butler being the last pick in the first round in 2011 has been playing a lot better than a lot of those picks in that draft some players picked before him well every single person in the first round one notable teammate Nikola Miritich was picked ahead of Jimmy Butler in the 2011 NBA draft of course Nikola it was a couple years before he came over from Spain but he was picked before Jimmy Butler that is insane to me some notable awards and stats well Jimmy Butler came in the league he didn't get many minutes because Tom Thibodeau would not really play rookies he averaged 2.6 points in his rookie season but now last season he's improved it all the way up to 20.9 points per game he can guard multiple spots he is the best defender currently on the Chicago Bulls but the major improvement that he has made has been on the offensive end leading the Chicago Bulls in 2015 some notable awards for him 2015 NBA most improved player he is a two-time NBA all-star now and a three-time all-defensive second team so three years in the league he has been an elite defender that is why I believe he is one of the top draft steals in the NBA in the last five drafts now on to number three of the list this is where the awards this is where the players keep getting better and better number three on my list is none other than Paul George he was picked in the 2010 NBA draft at number 10 he is currently 26 as well and he's entering his prime couple years from now he will be the best version of himself hopefully if he keeps improving now to name some notable players picked before Paul George a lot of these players have been traded and moved around the league multiple times so you could already tell that Paul George was a steal here at the number 10 pick Al Farouk Aminu was picked by the Clippers I believe and well he's been around the league now Greg Monroe as well he is currently on the Bucks I believe he has been moved around from the Pistons Derek Favors as well was picked by the Nets he is currently with the Utah Jazz and Evan Turner probably the guy making most bank out of all of them I believe because he just signed a huge lucrative contract to go Go play for Portland but yes I believe all those players did not deserve their spots and Paul George is having a better career than all of them and now on to some notable awards and stats that Paul George has accumulated over the years coming into the league he didn't have much pressure to be the man in Indiana they had Danny Granger who was the current star Danny Granger ended up going down with injuries he was an injury prone player which allowed Paul George to step into that role his rookie season he only averaged 7.8 points and now in this last season he averaged 23 
23.1 a pretty solid number he is the star of the indiana pacers he is one of the better small forwards in the league and another notable stat that stood out to me was he came in the league shooting 29 percent from three one of his better seasons he averaged now 37 percent so he has improved his shot over time and he has improved his game i don't think anybody would argue that paul george should have gone a lot higher in this draft but nobody could have guessed that he would have done this well some notable awards that he has accumulated in his short six-year career he is a three-time all-star he is a three-time all-nba third team member he has made the all-defensive first team once he has made the defensive second team twice and he is the 2013 most improved player as well as an olympic gold medalist now on to the number two and number one of my top five draft steals in the last five years at number two is clay thompson one half of the splash brothers he was picked in the 2011 draft at the 11th spot for the golden state warriors currently he is 26 as well same age as paul george same age as jimmy butler some notable players picked before clay thompson in the 2011 draft include ennis Cantor, brandon knight Jonas Valanciunas, Bismack Biombo, and Tristan Thompson. Now, if you don't think Clay Thompson should have been picked before those guys, you are straight out of your mind. Of course, these players on this list, nobody would have known, nobody could have known that they would have made such an impact for their NBA teams. Now, some notable awards and stats for Clay Thompson. He has improved his stats year after year, just like all these players on this list. His rookie season he only scored 12.5 points per game and now he is currently scoring 22.1 points per game for the golden state warriors arguably the second option for that team behind curry but he deserved now with his accolades and his stats that he has accumulated he deserved he definitely deserved to be picked higher like i said a lot of these players on this list have improved year after year and that's what you want them to do this man has improved tremendously year after year with his defense and with his attack Attacking the rim as well with his ball handling because he wasn't the best ball handler he still isn't but he has definitely improved year after year another thing that stands out that why he is number two well he's won a championship already and Paul George Jimmy Butler CJ have not that's why he is a spot higher than Paul George Clay Thompson has also scored the most points ever in a quarter that being 37 points that game was insane he scored 37 points in a quarter do you guys understand how much how many points that is that is blowing my mind just reading that stat but that is wild that is crazy now some notable awards that he has accumulated have been an olympic gold medal just like paul george and jimmy butler they were just on the 2016 rio team all together and he has also been an all-star twice he has been on the all nba third team twice as well he has won a three-point contest and in his rookie year he was named to the all rookie first team so most definitely clay thompson is a steal of the draft in 2011 he was picked 11th and he could arguably gone top three top five for sure so that is why i believe he deserves the number two spot on my list the number one spot on my list the best player on this list to me Kawhi Leonard from the San Antonio Spurs he was also drafted in the 2011 draft there was three players on this list in the 2011 draft that were steals to me Kawhi Leonard Clay Thompson and Jimmy Butler all picked past the number 10th pick but to speak on Kawhi Leonard's greatness he is only 25 years old notable players that stood out to me picked before Kawhi Leonard picked before the claw picked before this defensive monster were the Morris twins Markeith and Marcus Morris were both picked before Kawhi Leonard Alec Burks from the Utah Jazz was picked before him as well Jan Vesely I believe was a top five pick picked by the Washington Wizards which he ended up being a complete bust and another player picked before him was Ennis Cantor who is currently with the Oklahoma City Thunder and honestly all those players all those players combined wouldn't equal Kawhi Leonard and what he has accomplished in the 
league at just the age of 25. Now some notable stats for Kawhi Leonard. Every year the man has been improving his offensive arsenal, his offensive game. When he came into the league he averaged 7.9 points and just last season he averaged 21.2 points per game. This is a man that came out of college as a defensive player, as a great rebounder for his size at 6'7". He is a small forward that could probably switch. He could probably play the power forward spot in small ball lineups, but he guards the best player day in, day out, every single game that he plays. He was never considered a shooter. He's In the NBA, he started his three-point field goal percentage at 37% in his rookie season, and this last season, he just went off from the three-point line. He averaged 44% from three. This man is consistently, has been consistently an MVP candidate for his team. And that is why he deserves to be number one on this list. Top five draft steals in the last five years. At the 15th pick, an MVP caliber player at the 15th pick is insane. Some notable awards for Kawhi Leonard. The biggest being he has won a finals MVP at the age, I believe, of 23. He was the third youngest player to ever win finals MVP. He has been named to the all-star team he has been on the all nba first team and he has been a two-time defensive player of the year a two-time defensive player of the year for a small forward that is amazing that is an award that usually goes to big men and rarely goes to a perimeter player well i'm sure you guys know he is a defensive beast he is a defensive monster he has been named to the defensive first team twice the defensive second team once when he came into the league he was named to the all rookie first team and he has been the league's nba steals leader but there you guys have it my top five draft steals in the last five years in the last five drafts not including the 2016 nba draft if you enjoyed this video please let me know by dropping a like drop a comment down below let me know what i can improve on let me know what kind of list you guys would like to see i truly enjoy making this type of content because i learn more about the nba i learn more about the players and i can share that information right back to you guys thanks to my loyal subscribers for constantly watching constantly liking my videos i thank you thank you so much and if you are new to the channel please make sure to subscribe and as always guys thanks for watching